By Tuesday, August 25th, water bombers had gained an upper hand on some of the fiercest fires in Attica's storied history, ending the four-day siege. Spectators looked on as helicopters helped finish the job so crews could clear away the charred brush. Greece's worst fire since 2007 spanned a 30-kilometer area in northeastern Attica, just outside the capital of Athens. It's believed they started outside a new waste management facility in Grammatico and then spread southward, scorching 20,000 hectares of woodlands, farms, orchards, and parks. This whole area used to be green, full of bushes and pine trees. Now it's yet another charcoalized Greek moonscape with a few smoldering reminders of what happened here. The aftermath of the fires is full of ironies. This sign on the road to ancient Marathon says, protect the green. This roadside shrine survived the fires. A hundred meters away, another one is burned and covered in soot, like the rest of the landscape. Initial estimates put the number of houses destroyed at 60 and the damaged at 150. Considering the range of the fires, it's amazing more didn't go up in smoke. The trees around this home in Grammatico are charred. One exploding pine cone could have lit the plants leading to the balcony on fire, yet the house stands. The orange roof tiles of these houses in Pendeli aren't even scratched. But look across the street, and all that's left of the local bus stop is a melted metal carcass. Behind the bus stop lives a community of 120 Iraqi Kurds. Hemen Muhammad describes in Greek how the flames swept down the mountainside on Sunday afternoon. The Kurds woke up napping neighbors, grabbed their children and residence papers if they could, then fled the scene in their cars. Twenty-five of their houses became piles of slag. Two remain. Muhammad says a fire truck waited on the road for their houses to burn down, while the Kurds went about helping their Greek neighbors. Once the Kurds lost the village they'd built over 10 years, the fire truck put the flames out. The municipality has not returned Athens News' request for comment. Houseless but not homeless, the Kurds sleep outside on mats or carpets. Their children use the cars as bedrooms at night and playgrounds during the day. Their parents wonder what will happen when fire season ends and winter begins. George Mestis, Athens News.